me. Belly of taco tree in me. <laughs> you ready? Yep, they're all gone. All right, we're sitting here with the Tom Ways, car number 321, 4400, King of the Hammers. Uh, and we're basically uh, touching base with you, spend a little time with you. What are we, two and a half weeks out from KOH 2023? Yep. And uh, just like everybody, you are in the scramble, trying to get everything packed up, ready to go, all your ducks in a row to go to the lake bed, right? Yeah, definitely a uh, position to load up and get out of town. Looks like we're coming into a little bit of high pressure with the weather, which will be nice. Because so it's been snowing like oh, crazy. Oh, it's been dumping up here in Northern California. But yeah. it looks like you got a window to get out. Whether exactly. you can get back after the race, <laughs> who knows. But we're going to be good getting out. Yeah. Um, so everybody runs into hurdles getting their cars ready for King of the Hammers. And everybody has real lives and everything else. And it seems like everybody waits till the last minute. Now, something about this car is this car hasn't been out since last King of the Hammers, right? No, it's just broke in. And after KOH last year, did you drive it into the trailer? I gave rides for two more days and then still drove it into the So Tom, <laughs> Tom is a lot more ahead of the game than everybody else here. Um, you know, most of the other guys... I'm not, not going to jinx myself, but it ran pretty good when I parked it. Most of the other ones got pushed into the trailer, drug into the trailer, so it was running, driving good. So you basically just had to do a little once-over on it, right? Yeah, no, the car's doing really well. Um, Keith Beam just did a once over and Keith Beam uh, get from Get Fat He's right out, right out of Auburn here. We've known him for years. Yep. Um, yeah, he's he, he, unbelievable fabricator. Yeah, he just went around the car and uh, just reconfirmed our setup from last year, and we were really, really pleased because we we've done a lot of upgrades to the front suspension, going to right right hand FK rod ends, inch and a quarters in the in the uppers and just made the front end to where it really is uh, cycling really smoothly throughout the travel, which made a huge difference um, in how fast the car steers. So four years ago when I debuted the car, it was it was more in bind. And it, the best way to assimilate it is talking about like if, if you're a dirt biker and you've ever had a Scott dampener and you put it on hard and then you try to ride single track, it felt like that so you could never turn the wheel quick enough and these are these are kind of things that a lot of people don't understand and i hope to touch base with jason shear down the lake bed because yeah. shear is the guy that completely geeks out oh, yeah. on all the front end ifs suspension geometry um you know ackerman scrub radius you know uh the amount of toe in and toe out on full cycle all that stuff yeah, his so, car and my car are a little different. I mean, this is more based off of the geometry from the single seater, mm -hmm. and his new car is an evolution of his everything last car, and then everything here. he's learned and taking it onto account. So this car's, you know, probably ten inches narrower than, so, than Jason. I don't want to get into too many details yeah. because I'd like to talk to you down there a little yeah. more in depth in the pits uh, when you're getting ready to go about the actual car itself. But yeah. basically, the car's four years old. Yep. IFS front, rear engine. Yep. Um, it's got 10 inches front and rear. It does, yep. And uh, about 800 horsepower. Yep. Turbo 400. Turbo 400. Pro-Am rack and pinion. Um, Pro-Am rack in the front, yeah. for sure, with uh, Charlie uh, from uh, Power Steering's pump and servo and Warren 8274. So, and, and we're definitely going to go more into detail that. The Warren 8274, you're my hero for that. Thank you. Know? you. <laughs> um, but basically, this is a full-on contender car, right? Yeah, this thing's You're fast. not loading in the trailer to go get third place. No, I, I, I definitely have had a couple uh, bad results and DNFs in the last four years, and then I've had a couple good results. So when we debuted the car, it was decent uh, finish, you know, top five. And, uh, and last year we were ninth. So um, I feel good about the car, and it felt great last year. Um, and our wear and tear items after all the pre-running qualifying and racing KOH I know exactly which rod ends need changing after you've that. always been really good at your program of when things need to cycle out when you need to change them and what it is James I mean, Schofield you know your car. totally and, yeah. and and just to have James with me and him to be really intimate with it and the Motec system from Redline's been exceptional it works great it runs great 
we even dad along. Sounds great. I love the fact you've got mufflers on it. It's got it's big not mufflers. too obnoxious. It's got big mufflers. No, you, yeah. you, when a noise start, starts happening, you can hear it a little more. It's not just the <laughs> yeah. NASCAR. Yeah. So let's circle back to the actual Tom Ways himself. Sure. So, um, so many people get so involved to think that all these race car drivers, you know, their whole life is just race car. But everybody has a, a real life, right? And so we have to get back from the hammers, go back to real life. So you tucked this thing in the trailer, came back, went back to the real life, and worked your ass off all summer around Lake Tahoe. Yep. Um, and you are still cutting trees, right? Yep. Yep, and that, that's your main uh, source of income. Yep. And you hustle and do whatever you can to pay the bills and one-up yourself, right? Yeah. Um, and so all of a sudden King of the Hammers comes back around and it's real important to not only have money in the bank so you can pay for your race car, but be able to get the time off. And it takes a lot of time to do this, right? No, it definitely does. Um, doing tree work in Lake Tahoe has always uh, been a challenge and, you know, this isn't a new thing, cutting trees. I mean, I've cut trees for- Ever since I know Over you, 20 years. Which so, is about 20 years yeah. that you've been cutting so, trees. I've been cutting trees a long time at the lake, mostly uh, residential. Mm -hmm. um, never really did utility before um, last year. But uh, yeah, the Gomez's are great people to work with they've given me the opportunity so you're working for the brothers i am working for um, mountain, life mountain enterprises, enterprises yep. and you guys uh aren't you're doing uh utility work meaning power lines that yep. kind of stuff exactly so hazardous uh -huh. tree removal over dead and dying trees fire abatement that within kind of the stuff. basin yeah. is what i worked on and let summer. me tell you if, you if anybody has seen tom drive a race car i assume that's how you <laughs> attack the trees as well right tom <laughs> i've seen you fall some trees in rubicon springs and things like that yeah. that's a there's some big trees down it's there. a good time yeah. Um, so, also, uh, have you done any pre-running? Have you been back to the Hammers since last year? Um, I was down there two weekends ago um, doing some uh, rock crawling with... Uh, so that puts you a little bit ahead of the game. Uh, you know, it yeah. was really nice to be down there. The weather was beautiful. Um, it was raining to the summit up here and just absolutely monsooning. And to get down to JV and to run around and actually do a bunch of really hardcore hard 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 rock crawling was really fun and what a lot of people don't understand is uh you know i've known you for a long time i've had a lot of conversations with you but uh when we sit down and talk about the course what lines to take uh yada yada um i've been co-driving that race for 15 years now i've been yeah. on most of the trails uh i have no idea what you're saying when i ask you about trails you say, oh, remember the big boulder that's kind of round shaped at the top of the plaque line? You put your left tire on that. You know, the one with the U-joint caps underneath it? And then that one side lead, you side surf that sand wash and you do this, do that. And like, so I've been on those trails and I've been up those you never trails. never saw that line? I feel like you might be the guy that knows every single rock, boulder, go around, bonus line, drop in. Um, and that's an advantage that these people like, uh, you know, Miller and people that come from 2,000 miles away, they come here once a year. Um, yeah, but everybody comes more than that. See, they do the come quite a bit, but no, nobody logs the information like Tom Ways. All right. I'll, and when I'm trying to have, a, I'll, I'll when I'm trying to minute. talk to somebody about it, <laughs> the stuff that you keep in your head about rock trails, yeah. not only there, but Rubicon, sure. Ford Ice, like you could put your tire within an inch the same place every year or miss it for five years and hit that same line, or, yeah. you know, go for that line, it might've changed. Yeah. And uh, and if it does change, you log it in your head. And so that is something I appreciate about you, but it also just confuses the hell to me because when I'm having a conversation, I go, oh yeah, yep, oh yeah, that spot, oh yeah, oh, the, the go around, oh, the bonus, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. I know what you're talking about, which I don't. I don't know what you're talking about, Tom. So I feel going down there this year, having that knowledge, having a race car that wasn't catastrophically broken and had to be completely reworked all year year long, where you were able to take your pace, you know, go about your regular life business, um, and then you know, here we are, two weeks before the hammers, it's in the trailer, and literally you're ready to load up and go, right? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I I literally probably need to put chains on the dually to pull the race car or race trail out of Verde. Um, but uh, besides that, like I got the the icon enclosed, ready to go. It's down here today, and. Um, and you're not like these guys that have a diesel pusher and a 40 foot stacker and then five <laughs> other trailers and rigs and everything else. I yeah. mean, you literally have your Duramax and an enclosed trailer. Yeah, and, and uh, 
basically bring in the, the 2011 Icon Raptor down there. That thing's pulling double duty this year. It's going to pull the enclosed with uh, the fuel tower and race tires and uh, some race fuel gets stored in there and toolboxes. So that thing's going to tow that thing down there with the load leveling hitch. And then we're going to run that thing around, do the desert loop pre-running, everything else, run it around like a side-by-side -side all week. And, and then it's going to get the trailer hooked back up to it and we're going to drive back up here. And down, down there in the lake bed, uh, I definitely want to uh, show your team because they deserve to be... Uh, I've got some uh, great guys, incredible guys. Um, James, Colt, Jan, uh, just everybody. There's such a, a great group of guys. These are I'm, guys I'm I've even, known for I'm years I'm not even well. counting close to any of them. Alan, Tim. Um, there's it's so many, so many guys. great guys. And, and uh, you know, Swagger. And I, and I remembered, you said years ago, you said... You got to make sure that you thank your guys, and I take that to heart, and I've always remembered that. And there's a couple things like when you turn this thing on, the Motec screen says "Do good, don't suck." <laughs> I know where that came from. <laughs> that came from you. That's been there for quite a while. And I will be issuing your permission slip on the lake bed, Tom. It's not time for the permission slip yet. I'm not even. I don't want it too take early. Take the batteries out of it. Yeah. Park it down there. Be fine. Yeah. So uh, um, try not to use it up. You know, bottom line is we can't uh, I can't wait to see what you can do this year out there at the hammers and just a little bit more precursor um, you were not a member of the OG 13 no uh, but you were there the very next year correct 2009 yeah so 2008 was the first race yeah. 13 guys two was which, 12. which you know for 12, 12 which you know most of those Dave guys. claims that I was invited which yeah. I, I argue with him about this one He's and like, who, you were invited I was like I was the first not. one was it JR JR with so Randy co-driving JR were run the first one and the second one right oh yeah and no he, he didn't win the second he didn't win the second one. no okay and he, and he had rear, rear steer in that first car yeah in the Bronco yeah, yeah in, in the Bronco so um just about as as OG gangster as you can be you know uh, without being on the first one um, so I don't ask you how many King of the Hammers you have raced. Um, I ask you how many of them have you not raced, Tom? One, One race you didn't race. Yeah. Um, and there's very few people out there that can, Andy, I think that's it. can sit down there and say that, you know? Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, Maybe. I hold that pretty high. You know? Shannon? Shannon. Um, I believe Kevin Yoder is very close. Uh, at that, in fact, I think that he has only missed the first one um and because yoder and shannon are also in competition for the oldest guy who has raced every race you know how old, how old is yoder uh i'm not going to disclose that <laughs> i'm not going to disclose how old shannon is either but right. i'm going to say that when one of them quote unquote retires then you know one will be the the oldest racer so jason shipman was definitely one of the oldest and I'm trying to think who else Bill Baird, obviously. Bill Baird, yep. Uh, Faravani, obviously. Um, Faravani, a legend. Yep. And uh, I see his number right there, 44 on the car. So, and his car's going to be there again. Really? Yep. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, so, before we leave here, um, you're ahead of the game from everybody else. You're ahead of the game, I think, more than I've seen you in a long time. I'm trying and, to be calm. And and I see you're calm, cool, collected. <laughs> and we know that Tom Ways will not be calm, cool, and collected once that uh, checkered flag Well, once we take drops. the green flag. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or the green flag, sorry. Yeah. Um, so I wish you guys luck, and I can't wait to see you guys down on the lake bed. And uh, you are definitely on my list of people to watch, and I hope everybody else watches you as well. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for coming down, Tom. Yeah.